beauties, I'm Amanda Salas coming to you from the American Beauty Star Studio in West Hollywood, California. Well, the Twitterverse has been all a Twitter about a major announcement from one of our favorite beauty icons. We're talking, of course, about Ariana Grande. With Ariana's star being on the rise as one of today's biggest beauty icons, we thought we would take a look at her journey to see Ariana's looks from then and now. A little side to side, anybody? Let's begin in 2008 when Ariana was only 15 years old. As just a young girl from Boca Raton, Florida, her dreams were beginning to come true at age 14 when she landed her debut role in 13, the musical on Broadway. She would be playing Charlotte, and little did she know that this was just the very beginning of a long and prosperous career in the spotlight. The following year, in 2009, Ariana was cast in the Nickelodeon show Victorious as Cat Valentine. For this role, she had to say bye-bye to her dark brown curly hair and hello to red velvet pin straight locks. This role also deserves recognition for being the birthplace of her signature winged eyeliner. Two years later, and Ariana still has her red velvet hair, just styled differently. Up, up, and away. She attended the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows premiere where she matched her lips and cheeks to her vibrant hair. Now, I don't know about all of you, but I know for sure that I'm definitely not used to seeing Ariana wearing her hair down. Who is that? In 2013, Victorious came to an end and Ariana knew she had to get rid of her red hair. Dyeing it such a strong color every other week became quite damaging to say the least. But they say that through the bad, there comes some good. And in Ariana's case, even though her hair was damaged, out of it came the beautiful creation of her signature half pony. This adorable look gave Ariana a way to cover up her harmed hair through wearing extensions. At the 2013 American Music Awards, she strutted her stuff with her hair half up, half down in that classic pony. And of course, her winged eyeliner. It comes to no surprise that when she reprised her role as Cat in her next show, Sam and Cat, Ariana wore a red wig instead of dyeing her hair to avoid doing any more damage. When 2014 came around, we saw Ariana start a new phase in her life, her iconic cat ear phase. She claims that it all began because she just really likes them and loves Halloween. Hmm, how me out that. But we think that maybe Ari just found these cute cat ears to be perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm done. Could have done better than that. Anyways, Ariana rocked her cat ears at the We Can Survive Benefit concert. To finish off this sparkly look, she wore dark purple lipstick and of course, a high pony, my favorite. She was showing us that she can break free from dressing like anyone else. One year later at her KISS FM radio appearance back in November 2015, Ariana sported two very cute fun buns, a look you don't see that often, but of course, she rocked it. On her natural glowy skin, she wore a light foundation along with a pale pink lip, and of course, you guessed it, ta-da, the winged eyeliner. Ariana took advantage of her tan by wearing an all-white look and even went above and beyond wearing a see-through raincoat, even though it wasn't raining. But she makes it rain, hey! <laughs> That's just the way she makes magic happen. Looking pretty in pink, Ariana sure knew how to turn heads at the 2016 MTV Movie Awards with this elegant and beautiful look. Even though today the diamonds are around her ring finger rather than her neck. Congratulations, Ariana. She looks so glamorous at these awards. Her long hair was pulled back into a very tight, sleek ponytail, and her makeup was beautiful and shimmery. For the MTV Music Awards that same year, Ariana drastically changed her hair. She went for a bleach blonde ombre look and she even got bangs. Perhaps this different Ari look was inspired by her collaboration song, Bang Bang? Or maybe she was just proving to the world that she's a beauty queen and dangerous woman. It's become pretty obvious that Ariana doesn't leave her house without winged eyeliner on, so of course, why would the MTV Music Awards be any different? She accompanied this classic look with a nude lip and called it a day. Also, look at our girl pulling off that choker. Truly a 90s baby. Two years later, Ariana lost the bangs and the ombre, but would you look at that red lipstick? Ariana definitely went for a more cozy look with the sweatshirt and sneakers at the iHeartRadio Wango Tango. But she was just probably warming up for her performance. Plus, this girl makes sweats look like couture. 
We love how Ariana was repping her peace sign and feminism through her sweatshirt that said, girls, girls, girls. We really appreciate how she always lets her natural self shine through and she wears it with pride. She wears what she wants and even poses how she wants. She just turned 25 and this well-renowned child star recently shared some big news. She's engaged to SNL star Pete Davidson. But before announcing her engagement, Ariana attended the 2018 Met Gala looking like a present, wrapped up with a gorgeous golden bow. But this isn't the only time that this year she has slayed that bow look. Did you see her at the Billboard Music Awards a few weeks later? Besides rocking those trendy bows, her hair is also back to blonde. She can honestly pull off any hair color, and we know this because she's pretty much tried every hair color there is in the book. Along with her amazing hairstyle, Ariana continued to keep her makeup the way it usually is, natural with winged eyeliner. But this time she decided to add a touch of white eyeshadow to really brighten her corner creases, making her brown eyes really pop. She wore a nude shade on her lips, and just look at that highlight. Mm, it could cut diamonds. Ariana just keeps getting better and better, and we're so excited for all that is coming her way. And of course, to see what beauty trend she sets next. Maybe there's no trends left to try, Ariana. That's it for this edition of Then and Now. If you have any evolutions that you wanna see, let us know in the comments below or on any of our social media platforms. And while you're there, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. And of course, check out full episodes of the American Beauty Star series at AmericanBeautyStar.com and on Roku. I'm Amanda Salas, and we'll see you next time.